Hey, hey, cuties. How are you guys doing? So, um, if you saw the preview photo, if it didn't go by too fast, I ordered something from Funko. <laughs> it doesn't happen that often anymore. I honestly can't tell you the last time I bought something directly from Funko. I'm trying to remember right now. Why didn't I think of this before I started the video? Last thing that I tried to order from the Funko website. Mm. I it's been so long I can't even remember the last ones I remember ordering from the Funko website was it the cereal ones um, Count Chocula Booberry not the really expensive ones from way long ago when the remakes that they did like a year ago or so I think those are the last ones I bought from the Funko website unless you guys remember an order I made since then <laughs> so these came out a couple weeks ago it was um, a Funko website release these are not in stores here probably at Funko one of the Funko headquarters well Funko headquarters is in Seattle and then there's Funko um, Hollywood out in LA so uh, what did I order um, okay the one that came out the one man there's like all kinds of little oh that's scary so they cut out the bottom of the box so that they could see the barcode I've never seen them do that on a mailer box before that kind of scares me because I wonder it looks like it was laser cut that'd be scary if you, there was somebody with like a blade at the packing factory like <laughs> man my brains all over the place sorry um, I just haven't really been in the mood to do videos lately um, so I hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, what did I order from Funko? It was released a couple weeks ago. You've probably seen it on a couple other collectors pages. You may have not thought the greatest thing of this one. I know a lot of people did it. There were mixed reviews. I like it because of the vibe it gives out. You'll see when I take it out of the box. Um, I really wish it was, let's just take it out. Her name is Rosa. <laughs> Her name is Rosa, and she is a, I, it doesn't say on the box, where is she, Rosa, it, somewhere it tells you, she is not a chihuahua, but it tells you what kind of dog she is, um, I think it was on the Funko website, because everybody was like, oh, it's a chihuahua, um, and then um, other people were getting angry. It's not a chihuahua. It's this kind of dog. So it's not a chihuahua. Rosa is not a chihuahua. Um, but she does have that. Uh, sorry for the glare. I wonder. Um, uh, she's not a chihuahua. We're going to do the best we can. And she has that uh, Frida Kahlo vibe. So that's why I liked her. I really wish Funko would finally make a Frida Pop. It's killing me. I want one so bad. I've even gone to the lengths of looking up custom pops on Etsy and um, different custom people I see on, um, on Instagram. And I get it. It's a lot of work. It's blood, sweat, and tears. It's creativity creativity I can't do it myself but it is very expensive they cost like anywhere from $70 and up to have custom pops made so $70 and I get a custom Frida now or I hold tight and hope that eventually they make one and then I get it for you know 10 15 bucks or so so fingers crossed but this gets the um this this feels the fills the need for a Frida pop for now so Man, I wish I could show you closer. Let me see. Let me try to close another window. I hope that's not too dark now. That would be my luck. Okay, so she is wearing, um, I don't know if you can see inside the glass, but the picture is over here too. She has a traditional Mexican dress on with the... Um, 
embroidery and the stitching and then she has the flower crown in her hair she's got some big hoop earrings and then this one is so cool because it comes with a pin the pin has the mexican flag in the background and it has a rosa in the middle I'm wondering if there's a way I can take this out of the box without hurting it, but this one is in such a nice condition I don't even want to try. I'm so sorry guys <laughs> But she comes with a pin and there's a whole series of these around the world pops and some of them have come out already I have not bought them um, So instead of me trying to read through all 12 of them minus Rosa um, I'll show you Supposedly there's supposed to be a passport, like a little paper booklet passport thingy that you're supposed to be able to get so you can say that you got all of it. I'm not sure. So those are all the different ones you can get. I can't read them from right here. So um, I know one is like Barkingham. Um, two is this parrot. We got this Irish guy. Um, I haven't looked at the others. I don't think all of them are out yet. I think they're up to Rosa. But who knows? We'll see. So that's a Rosa. And then there's a common theme for this order. Drum roll, please. See, they didn't cut the bottom of the box out of this one. I only got these two, so there's not like a whole box of stuff over there. Don't worry. This is second one and I had to get it I was very sad the first time that these came out I thought that um, they sold out and then I was never gonna see them again because when they do specialty designs usually that's how it works not this time I should learn that by now I need a I was like at the end of my being on top of my Funko game and um, when you're knee deep or when you're all into the Funko game, you know which ones like, oh, I don't have to buy that now because it's going to be around forever. Or the ones that like, you need to buy it now or else it's never going to exist again. Or it drops at midnight and I need to stay awake and I need to be ready to put that order in the minute it like comes available. So you start knowing those things about different pops. I thought this one was going to be special, but apparently it wasn't. They just kept, or maybe it was so special they had to make a million of them. Um, this is Mariachi Freddy. Mariachi Freddy and Rosa are going to be so happy together. I love them so much. Isn't he cute? Let's talk about him. I am not going to open him either. Um, he is not limited to pieces, but he is a limited edition. Um, they used to only sell these at Funko headquarters. You actually had to go there to get it. But now they sell them on their website. So he's about as tall as my palm so he's not very he's not like super huge or anything like that he's wearing his little mariachi costume he has a little guitar oh he's so cute i can't remember when this one came out i think it was like cinco de mayo last year i think so i'm not 100 percent sure go ahead and feel free to correct me in the comments but i'm pretty sure i feel like he came out around cinco de mayo last year so he is fabulous um when i saw him uh the advertisements for him go up all i could think of was vicente vicente and now i've got vicente and frida <laughs> not really but it's close as i'm gonna get right now I, wouldn't that be cool they made an el chavo pop uh well a couple el chavo pops i wonder if they would ever do like vicente shakira um frida I don't know it might be worth you know they made Bob Ross if you can make Bob Ross you can make me a Frida Funko Heather wants a Frida make it happen oh my gosh and then you could do like um not movie scene but you could do her house La Casa de Azul you could totally do Frida's house I love it all right so thank you guys for watching unfortunately I will not be unboxing this um, I will show you the rest of the box if you'd like to. It's very cute artwork. He's wearing his full mariachi outfit. This is the sign at Funko headquarters in Seattle. I'm or in Washington. I miss you Everett Washington. I want to come visit you again. And then same thing on the other side of the box. Nothing special on the bottom. It says 
Funko Headquarters exclusive. So I wonder if they ever transfer Funko Headquarters exclusives over to LA. Um, that's all I've got for now. That's all I ordered. I've really been considering getting the Letterman jacket. Um, it's starting to get hot here now, so my brain itself won't justify me buying a coat also. I would like to buy it in person because the Funko sizes for clothing have never been consistent for me. Um, one shirt I have is a medium, but it fits like a large. The larges I bought fit like mediums. Um, I hope there's some consistency now. I haven't bought shirts in a while. But um, they don't even have a size chart for the Letterman's jacket, so pass on that. But they have other cool things, and um, the one in L.A. is a little bit closer, so maybe when this stuff blows over, and maybe when L.A. is not so sick, <laughs> I will try to make it out. Um, who was it that posted some crazy stuff about L.A. recently? Um, gosh, I can't remember. I can see her face, but I can't remember her account name right now. Um, there were, like, festivals in L.A. that people were going to last weekend, and just a bunch of people not given to poops about you know, the world. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm sorry I didn't open them. This is the mind of a Funko collector. If you want to see an opened one, I'm not sure if she posted pictures yet, but never too old for toys. I've spoken with her and she's going to open her Rosa pop. So if you need to see it open, go ahead and go over there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. If I don't come back, take care. Ciao.